what's up guys so getting ready to go to a friend's house for the Pacquiao fight see my Philippine playlist in the background anyway a knock's crying I gotta get a shower Jess is getting ready to Boy, this boy's crying. Belanga, Papa's coming. Papa's coming, Belanga. Hoi, so, 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 Let's get dressed. Let Papa shower. Mama will dress you. And then, oh, do you see yourself? And then we're gonna go to the party. We're gonna see Pacquiao. We're gonna watch Pacquiao fight, huh? No one fuss. It's okay, it's not a sad day, it's a great day. Cause Pacquiao's gonna win. Huh? Your countrymen, huh? Oh, Papa loves you. <laughs> <laughs> See, we can always find a happy moment about <laughs> Papa. Love you. I love the baby boy. Okay, Sigina. There you go. It's okay, Sigina. All right, guys, so Anak is dressed. Do I need to fix your hair, son? You got your little blue plaid shorts. It's the OOTD of the day, Papa. Look at your hair. What the heck, be stone? Let Papa fix your hair, so Hold on, look at Papa. Come on. Can you look at Papa? There we go. It's kind of better. Uh, yeah, it's kind of better besides the wing. Anyway. All right guys, so we're getting ready. Jess is still getting ready. You know, juveness, woman juveness. Um, anyway, packing the diaper bag. You know the diaper life when you have a kid. So, get our diaper bag there. Packing water, whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Packing water, water for his milk. I gotta find out if Jess has cooked anything for him. If we got some carrots or apples or whatever or some bitter guard i think that's the next thing on the list huh oh some bitter guard you want some bitter guard some bitter melon yes yeah, so we gotta pack some food jess did pack some what do you guys call this money 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 something like that Let's see if you can see this peanuts money it's like eight ounces guys jess makes these every now and then it's, it's nothing she does super consistent but if somebody at my work is asking for them, or her friends and her friends group is asking for them, she'll make them. Um, I don't know what these go for in the Philippines. Probably 40 pesos maybe? 30 pesos for an eight ounce pack of these? They go here for 150 pesos, guys, per pack. So anyway, when Jess makes them here at the house for us to snack on, they're garlic, spicy garlic fried peanuts. So when she makes them here at the house, then she makes a huge batch and she just lets people know, hey, we got a batch if you want some. And people put their orders in and they go out the door really quick at 150 pesos a pop. So taking those to the party. I don't know guys if we're gonna be able to vlog at the party because if I remember correctly, um, we're going to Jade's house. You guys saw Jade, Jess's, our friend, Jess's friend in the vlogs. Her husband, I think, is a private investigator. I think, I can't remember, but I think that's his job. Anyway, in saying that, usually those kind of guys, anybody in law enforcement, they're not really open to a lot of filming and vlogging, such stuff in or around their house, right? Because of their line of work, which is understandable. Even in our line of work, like we usually don't show the front of our, did I say my line of work? Even with us vlogging, 
Um, we generally don't show the front of our house or our street address or anything like that just because, you know, 99% of the people that, you know, follow us on social media are great people, but you always have that 1% chance that there's gonna be a stalker or, you know, just somebody who's not in their right mind at the moment and they may just pop up at your house and like, hey, what's up, dog? What's up, buddy? I wanna come see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to hang out. You know, who, who knows? You just gotta be careful in today's world. So, in saying that, usually guys in his line of work are super, super cautious. They err far on the side of caution. So, I doubt we'll be able to vlog much more there, but we'll try to get a couple of shots of the food and the happenings as we can. So anyway, let's go. Great son. Look at you kicking. You're not used to shoes. You got shoes going out. Let's go. Time to go. Time to go, Belanga. Let's do it. Wait, are we going to eat now? Yes, we are. Are you gonna do some vlog? Vlog, vlog. No. no. Tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So, starting our day. So yesterday, I was trying, I was gonna vlog and finish the vlog, but we went to the fight and I explained that to you guys that I didn't think we'd be able to vlog that much. And um, I actually thought we'd be home early, right, love? Yeah. Like the Pacquiao fight was supposed to be at six. So I thought the main card was at six and the pre-fights were before, but the pre-fights, some of them were starting at 6 p.m. here. So we didn't end up leaving till what, 10.30? Yeah. So we were gonna finish the vlog last night. I was editing a vlog yesterday that I was gonna finish last night also. And um, I didn't get any of it done, guys. So it is the next morning. You see, we're making coffee here. What's going on, dude? Why are you choking, bro? Why are you choking, bro? Life doesn't start until coffee happens. Well, actually, life doesn't start until Grayson has his bottle first. <laughs> then Mama and Papa can start with their life they buy on coffee and whatnot. Say good morning. Good morning. Say como esta, Capamelia? <laughs> Tell them. Como esta? Good morning. All my Capabayans? <laughs> yes. I'm a happy baby. I'm just chilling. Now that Papa gave me some milk in my tummy. He was so good yesterday, guys. He was so behaved the whole time we were there in my friend's house. Yeah, he was. Just chilling. He always just chills. I, I put him in the pack on my chest and he just hangs out. He's, I don't know, well, what would we do, Jess? Uh, what do we do to deserve such a great baby? Oh, we deserve, we deserve a good baby. He's like, look at him. He is. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you smile at him, Palanga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, guys, so anyway, so I'm gonna sit down and try to finish the editing this morning. Got my cape. Uh, yes. Um, anyway, what I was gonna tell you guys yesterday, what I wanted to tell you guys was that our return to the Philippines, when? Let me get this off the TV, sorry guys. So, we're returning to the Philippines this year, and let me get down here with my cup of milia. Okay, so we're returning to the Philippines this year, guys. We're super excited. We're trying to buy tickets. We Are you playing? Turn it up for you. It's okay. It's okay. We like Anox music. Huh, Grayson? We like your music. You play your music, Papa. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, we are we're returning this year. I tried to buy tickets about eight weeks ago, and the tickets were, what were they love? Like $1,500 for all three of us, right? <laughs> And um, so I was like, okay, well, 
maybe if I wait a little longer, they'll go down. That was like two months ago. And then I looked like two or three weeks after that and they had gone up $600. So I'm like, hi, Nico. Let me wait a little while longer. I don't think they can keep going up. Um, some of my Filipino friends tell me, oh, just wait till you're about to go and they'll go down. So I don't know, we'll see, it's a gamble. But we are coming back to the Philippines in the end of October um, through November, through the end of November. Yeah. Right, love? I'm excited. Yes, yes, we are so excited. I'm excited. I'm completely excited because Jake announced it to you guys right now, but he didn't buy a ticket yet. So yeah, she told me, she told me, wait till you buy a ticket. I'm like, no, 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 because that may take forever to buy a ticket. Let's just go ahead and tell everybody, because we know we're going. Regardless, if the price never goes down, we'll just pay for it. But you know, we have to go back because we have business affairs that we have to tend to in the Philippines. So it's really not an option. Yeah. So we're gonna be there for like four to five weeks. We hope to see and meet some of you guys. Yeah. Um, we'll be there, but we'll kind of mostly be in Mindanao, right? Yeah. Mostly Davao. There's a chance we might end up in Pasig because Jess has a, huh? Yeah, Pasig in Manila. Yeah, near Manila, right? You guys know Pasig, so. Um, <laughs> my kind of slang. Jess has a cousin there, so we may end up going to see her if we can fit it in and around our business plans. And then we also, also love to see a bag you. Yeah, we have but a thought. Knows, yeah, yeah, if our business affairs are over quickly and we can travel to Baguio, we want to travel to Baguio. We also may end up in um, Serigal del Sur, like Northern Mindanao. So anyway, you guys stay tuned. If you're not following us on Facebook, you probably should because when we're in the Philippines, it'll probably be a lot easier for us to announce things on our Facebook page. Uh, Jake and just said Phil Am Life. But I don't know, we might announce it on YouTube too. Like, hey, you know, I'm having lunch at this Carinderia, come eat with me. I, I don't know, who knows, <laughs> right? Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah guys, that's it. Right enough, great son. Oi. Yeah, Oi. So this trip actually is not for vacation trip because uh, we have a personal business that we have to do. Well, we got paperwork. Yeah, we've got paperwork and all that. Oh, my arm. So we're not really like traveling around the Philippines, but we <laughs> like also see a little bit if we can, if we have. So we're not waiting. Yeah, if we can. Yeah, if we have. We can make a vacation out of it too. A little bit, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so um, guys, you may have remembered if you're down in Mindanao or just in the news in general, there was some flooding down in the Davao area and it caused some trouble to one of our properties. So we have to go fix that. Um, we wanted to be on scene when we were doing the repairs to that. And then um, also we just have paperwork in general on um, that property and our other property to take care of because we have to physically be there to do that. So we feel like we've got, you know guys, things don't really move fast in the Philippines, right? Mm -hmm. Just like the queue can be long, sometimes you know, doing your paperwork and changing your paperwork can be long, and then you know, going there and finding the construction crew to do our work. So we're thinking we may be trapped in the Davao area for weeks, right love? Mm -hmm. Handling this stuff, but if we are successful in getting it done earlier, we are gonna travel. You know? Yeah, hopefully. So anyway, um, and to yeah. see some of you. Yeah, yeah, are guys. Here with us, yeah. We want to meet you guys and hang out and get to know you, and you guys get to know us, ask us some questions in person, whatever. You know, just hang out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Anak. Bless, bless you. you. <laughs> bless <laughs> you. <laughs> Sweet little sneezes. Yes, you are. So, um, yeah, guys, October, November. It's gonna be the deal, man. It's gonna be the deal. We're gonna come back and uh, be back in God's country. I can't wait. My God, it's gonna be so much fun. So much fun. So the debate was four weeks versus five weeks. Jess, Jess is like, oh, four weeks in the long. That's good enough. And I'm like, no, 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 I need five weeks. Give me five weeks. Which, you know, as a foreigner, I have to extend my visa just for that one week. So Jess was like, Oh, it's too much, you know, to extend the visa. It's too much, just four weeks in the long. And I said, hi, Nico, it's only one week, one week for $40 visa renewal, I'm doing it. So, that's it, guys.
And Jess is telling me, Siggy, now this is my boss over here. Siggy, <laughs> now that means in the vlog, it's done. Yeah, because it's too long already. Too much chicken chicken. Now you already tell what you want to say. Why? Are you going to be the one to edit? <laughs> okay. Are you the one that's got to have the trouble of cutting? <laughs> yes, I am the Joke one. Joke, huh? <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna finish up editing this video that I'm doing now. We'll upload it. You guys will have that tonight. This video will be tomorrow. So let us know in the comments below if you're in Davao or around Davao or if you're in Northern Mindanao. Um, if there's a Carnderia near that you recommend. Go ahead and I'll joke along. If you're in the Pasig area, maybe we'll bump into you there. So let us know and let us know if you're down to do like a meet and greet. Um, I don't know, Jess, with a meet and greet, is there a better day of the week? Like, should we do, if we did that, should we do like the weekend? Yeah, weekend. And should it be evening time? You guys let us know in the comments below and we'll kind of look at, you know, statistically what works for the most people and that's kind of the way we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let us know. See you in the comments below. Baboosh. You gotta listen up, listen up.